Hi, good morning. Rhea from Maisie Moo. I am here to show you the Layla bow today. Now, I know someone asked about this on the Facebook group and they were having trouble with the pinch. So I thought I'll quickly show you how to um, put it together. So I'm going to make, I'm making two of these. So I've just made this one and I haven't, I haven't really tweaked this too much yet, but we can do that. I'll show you how you do that at the end, but that's the look that we're going for. So, to start off, we want to fold your bow in half, and we're just going to run a line of glue down there to hold in place. You need to make sure that you can't see any of this back part from the front. Okay, so we've done that one. Do the same. Line it up. Radio. Okay, so the idea with this is you are going to be pinching just along, see where the, the tail starts, that's where your pinch is going to be. So what I do is I give it a little bit of a bend, a bit of a play, so you want to pinch in half like this towards yourself. So that's the front, you're pinching forward and then you get both sides and then punch back like that. Now, you can choose to hold it all together and then tie it off or glue it together. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll hold these pinches just because this is where I think we, you, a few of you struggle trying to do it without tying them off. So I'm going to use a peg. I've got all sorts of different things that you can use to hold your punch, but I find these pegs, they're just my ones from the washing line actually, um, they've got the rubber bottom, so I'm going to hold that. Let's do the same with this one. So again, we're pinching forward and back. Okay, and let's try this one here. Yep, works the same way. Okay, so there's a few ways you can tie off a pinch. You can use um, rubber bands. Rubber bands are great. They can sometimes melt though when you put glue on them. You can also use cable ties. These tiny little cable ties are really quite cool. You do end up having a little bit of bulk at the back because you've got the connector. But if you find it hard to tie knots and things, that's always an option. So what I'm going to do though is just use the thread. see when you put them side by side you want them to be even they look pretty even when they're meeting up so let's just trim off that this will all be hidden by your center strap okay so going to be wanting to bend your tail so you want it to look a bit like a fish bending up like that and this one doing the same bending down and where they meet is where we've tied them off okay so you can add a little touch of glue and then they will stick together so I'm going to just use a little bit of hot glue and you can see we're just butting them up against each other so let that dry so it's holding okay so you can see we're getting the shape obviously I like the tail over just sitting over the um, bow piece there, same there. And I'm going for a silver, 
silver center here. So what I'm going to do is, now it's a little bit, it looks a bit wonky. So when you do this, I, I, I quite prefer to line it up from the front as opposed to the back and wrapping it around because it can end up being on a little bit of an angle. So this is quite, I've made this, this quite long for you. So I'm going to let's give this a pinch. So there's your pinch there. And that's your center. So we'll probably go two thirds of the way down. Okay. Let's wrap that around the back. So we'll clean that up afterwards. Right, but you can see how it's straight and sort of not on an angle, which can happen. So we've achieved that by putting the spot of glue on the front. Okay, so what we want to do at the back here is put on our clip. So let's glue this clip on. And what we'll do is we'll put a few spots of super glue to help hold this and I just put a line of the hot glue to hold it on for now okay so we're gonna it looks a bit messy from behind I must confess but once you once it's all stuck down so what you'll do is wrap that around and stick a little spot of glue in here It's going to hold that there and simply can either I don't want to see that from the back so I'm going to trim that and then we'll just glue that down right fiddly fiddly so you can see this is where you just give your bow a wee plump give them a bit of a plump out because they've gone a bit flash there we go okay, so that's the Layla bow in um, lovely patriotic colours so I mean that would work well for obviously for Independence Day or as I've got it on the listing I've got it in florals it, really is a versatile bow you can use it for anything but this was just really to show you how we punch it and assemble it so i hope that makes things clearer thanks